Is a supernova just a really big nova? No, sort of, sometimes. A nova happens when two stars are orbiting each other, and one of them is a white dwarf, which is incredibly dense, so its gravity is incredibly strong. So strong that it starts to slurp up some of the other star's matter, which eventually forms a top layer that gets so hot and so dense that it explodes. One kind of supernova, a thermal runaway supernova, is basically just a giant nova, where that top layer gets so big and so hot that when it explodes, it causes a massive feedback loop that destroys the white dwarf. The other main kind of supernova happens when the core of a massive star suddenly runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity and the outer layers smash into the core so hard that they bounce off and cause the whole thing to explode. Novas and supernovas are powered by gravity. If you're wondering how gravity can blow up entire stars but never seems to make you explode, think about it this way. Gravity's effects scale up. If you drop a watermelon from a skyscraper, the watermelon would splatter. But if you drop that same watermelon from that same skyscraper under gravity a trillion times stronger than Earth's, it would explode with the force of a five megaton bomb. The core of a star is much more massive than a watermelon and much bigger than a skyscraper. All that gravity and heat is the recipe for something super.